Hey everybody, Illogical JJ here. Today I'm playing Minecraft. I just started playing this game about three or four weeks ago. I still don't really know very much about it. I started playing in survival mode, but then I switched to creative to make some pixel art and I just got hooked on it. I thought it would be, well, I thought it would ruin the fun because I usually like scavenging for materials. But I got so addicted to being able to make whatever you want. I just stuck with it for now. This track is the first major build I did. It's probably at least 13,000 blocks. My goal is to make it so when you ride it, there'll be always something cool to look at. It's 10,000 blocks in length. So it's actually very long. Right now, this is this is kind of the first my first base, the track that takes you to the Trials and Chambers. Right when I started playing, this Trials and Chambers update was the new thing. I didn't even realize they were doing updates still. And this is another one of my first builds, just this giant staircase. I spent like my first when I was in survival mode. I pretty much just spent all of my time downstairs <clears throat> I couldn't even figure out how the stairs worked so I just made everything out of cobblestone the problem was I was trying to lay stairs on cobblestone and I didn't realize you couldn't do that so that minecart will take you to the trials and chambers we got a little waterfall just basic builds <clears throat> I started watching other minecraft users but it's just so confusing to me because the things they're doing is just so advanced and i really just don't understand this game yet other from a creative aspect but i'm hoping to soon understand like things like how the wire works and and you know how to how to make cool mechanical builds we started off with some of that pixel art this is the bedrock edition, so there's no mods, but I did purchase like seven add-ons. That's why you see the SpongeBob stuff. We got that pyramid that's unfinished. A lot of unfinished things I'm working on. <laughs> but we got it kind of looking like a little bit of a city to start. That lava tunnel just covers a track, or, or the road I should say. Over here, we got a stadium. It's almost done. Put a little basketball court in. I need to learn how to sync the speakers, if you can. <clears throat> They're kind of glitched. They just started playing because I overlapped them with other speakers. I didn't even know that would power them. I'm gonna try to make, everything I build is pretty basic for now, but as I get better, I do wanna go back and touch things up and detail them the best I can. I've started watching videos and just, the builds these people do are so admirable. Even when they're just making farms, they, they get so creative with their builds. It's, it's, it's really fun to watch, honestly. Got some Mario, I'm gonna, I got some ideas. There's a tailgate area for the football fans. I got some big ideas for some Mario pixel art. Upside down pyramid. I was inspired to do that after we did this pyramid. This pyramid wasn't built. I uh, carved it out of a mountain. That's why there's that tree at the very top. And the whole point of the video today is that, what was that? The whole point of the video today is that I want to build a bank. So this is the place where I'd like to build it. I purchased like six add-on packs, so I don't really know if I have any bank theme items. Add-ons are basically like mods. I'm basically looking for like a vault door. There we go, that airlock door will work. 
So we need a front door. Hmm. Here we go. Big glass door. Now let's look for some luxurious stuff. I happen to like gold and diamond stuff. So this prestigious bank will be dripped out in gold and diamond. And here is where I'm going to introduce the fast forward and cutscenes. Try to speed this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm really going into this blind. I have no idea what that sound is or how I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to start off with the sidewalk. All right, we got ourselves a little happy face door right here. So we're going to have to try to build a couple of windows so people don't feel like they're in a casino. Oh, that's classy. Okay, so we're gonna need to build a sign so people know what this illustrious golden dollar sign building is. some math and try this again. Now, people know. I don't think the dollar signs and all the gold gave it away. I think people needed to know for sure this is a bank. Could this be Drake's house? But we're gonna try to bring this corner in. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just know I don't really want this to be a square building. We want, we want some corners in this baby. So now we need to start working on the floor plan here. All I really know is I want a vault. So what are we gonna do here? Fix this sign. Gonna extend the wall here. Hmm. 
basically I want to figure out a way to make it look like there's a carpet. And what I'm going to display on this carpet, I don't know yet. I was thinking kiosks. And I decided to go with a display case. So that'll give us an opportunity to use these gold things, whatever they are. And try to figure out how this display case works. All right, since the cases just open up right when you walk by them, we're gonna have to put a little perimeter here. I've seen this paintbrush before. I thought I could paint the rope. I don't know what that paintbrush is for. It's not for the rope. So basically what we're gonna do is make the other side of the bank the same as the left side. Here we go. Keep it smooth sailing. Whoa, I just farted. All right, now it is time to make this vault. Right after I soak up all this water. Not very good with these sponges. So we're just gonna spam the sponges. You would think a diamond would mess something up a little bit quicker than that. Alright, we're gonna have to push this deeper, whip out more sponges. I don't know if it's the biome I'm in, but it seems like it is always raining. I did learn how to use the stairs, kind of. All right, so we need to make this big enough to use a big old freak door because I have a feeling it's gonna be like my front door on my bank and just be way bigger than I'm expecting. But we also need a ceiling and dirt. I'd like to have dirt on top, make it inconspicuous. So we'll go ahead and hollow this out. Oh yeah, we're gonna need four stairs. You no know, door operating with three stairs. So we're gonna have to make this pretty. Build a new wall. All right, there we go. And that is a very long lightning storm. Okay, let's make this up a little deeper. Yeah, okay, we gotta put some floor in here. To be honest, I really don't know what kind of cool valuables to display in this vault so we're just gonna throw some more diamonds but eventually as I figure this game out I'll figure out it's probably gonna be some crazy weird thing yeah with that big door we still gotta put a floor in oh there it goes All 
right, finally buttoning this thing up. Whoops. Don't want anybody just falling into our vault here. There we go. The floor. Whoops. I keep putting the door before the floor and then it disassembles when I do the floor. I probably did that four times. I'm not trying to rhyme. Here, like Eminem, the four inch, the orange four inch door hinge. There we go. It is starting to look like a prison cell. All right, I'm in here forever. So these shroom things, shroom lights, those are the best lights I've found so far. So we're gonna, what's a vault without some gold? I didn't even know you could put those on the wall. That was a pleasant surprise. Get a little bit more shroom light in here. I have a chicken in this thing. Where is it? Where's that chicken? All right. So I have these secret base spawn kits that came with an add-on. And we're going to go ahead and use this gigantic one and see what happens. Because who doesn't have a secret base in their bank vault? Let's see what. Oh yeah, yeah, just like that I lost everything. No, I lost a lot, we'll say that. Nothing above ground, but uh, it did create some trees. We're just gonna jump cut to after I fixed all that. So here we are with vault number two. It's exactly the same as the first one. Let's see. Diamonds everywhere. We'll go. We'll go ahead and explore that when we finish. We need some type of a bank teller here. Let's go ahead and make a desk out of more diamonds because I'm really creative and I like to use just three colors. All right. So yeah, let's finish this perimeter up. Don't want any walls coming in the back be a security issue i mean glass glass windows that's what i meant to say oh yeah that's fort knox nobody's getting in that gigantic staircase to that vault so we're going to put some windows up here go ahead and you know work on our green print try to utilize some of that sunlight Right there, I did a math error. That's all right, we do a lot of those. All right. It's like cell phone towers. Now, I've never messed with a roof before. We'll get to that in a minute, right? We gotta get these computers going. Cause what's a bank without some 1995 Apple monitors? And we need to put a big sign on this big wall. So I'm gonna do a dollar sign in the exact shape of these dollar signs, which is basically a very square looking number five. And we're gonna go and throw that, whoops. Okay, that looks a little weird. I'm gonna have to round what that is. So now we'll get to the roof. And I thought I started off pretty solid here. Then we had a little, couldn't figure that out for a moment. We made all these corners, I just kind of started spamming it. So we we're just gonna jump cut through all that and uh, decided to make the roof out of glass because what's more fortifying than tin and glass? It's all right, I've only got like 12 diamonds in my vault. This is my fake bank, the real bank. You guys don't you guys don't need to know about that. 
And here we go. I don't know what's up with these jellyfish things. Are those jellyfish? What are those? Why are they floating in the air? Is it? Is it? Do I got a hole in my glass? Okay, we got some bank tellers. They don't care if you come down here. Open this vault up a little bit. Ooh, look at the shroom lights. And that's annoying. Once I get the mechanics figured out, we're going to uh, figure out a way to lock those. And this is the pre-made base we got. Go ahead and walk down this ridiculously crazy staircase. And here we go. We're in a shower or a sauna or a karate dojo. I don't know. There's a lot of chains. I like this bed. I really wanted to sleep on it after all that work, and it did not let me. I don't know what those buttons on the floor do. I did notice this use of railroad on the stove. Very smart. Very. That's the type of stuff I need to learn here. Okay, now, I don't know how to get out of here, so instead of making you guys watch me, I'm just going to walk around and pretend like I'm checking this place out. Oh, hey, look, there's the stairs. Let's get out of here. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching me. This is my first Minecraft experience on YouTube, so if it sucked, let me know. If not, please subscribe because that will help me. Thank you.